Hey guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Digital. This is Joni. Um, in today's video, we are going to go over how to change colors and add a background in Inkscape. Okay, we're going to go down to this cute little bat, which is a PNG image that I uploaded earlier. And you, you can't change the colors, as you can see here. But I'm going to show you a little trick where you can use trace and bitmap to turn it into a vector image with multiple colors and you can change the colors. All right, so let's get to it. All right, we're gonna go to trace and bitmap up here. If you don't have it in your box, you can right click on your image and go to trace bitmap. I'll take you to this window here. Um, you have single scan and multicolor scan, pixel art. Uh, today we're gonna use the multicolor okay in your detection mode you're going to have it set to colors and for your scan since this has only got a few colors in it we're going to set it to four uh, we're going to leave the rest of this alone and we're going to hit apply we're going to give it a minute my computer's being slow today so y'all gonna have to bear with me okay that's going to look like it didn't do anything, but it should have made you a vector copy of that PNG. All right, now we can delete this PNG. Bring our vector image back up here. So I can make sure I look at all the picture here, because that's what we're going to try and do. I want to try and do this little background, show you a new background, and we're going to change the eyes to blue. Alright, so you're going to right click on your image, you're going to do ungroup, alright, and now it's got every color separated. You have your outline, you have your eyes, and you have your background. I'm going to delete the background, I mean you can leave the background there and you can change the color to it, uh, you can make it pink, uh, you can change it to whatever you want. We're going to click on our eyes, let's make them a pretty blue, and then we can put our bat back together. And there you go, I mean we just changed colors, you can change the size, you can change anything you want to this now, and there's a vector image, and it has all these little nodes in there, you can change all of this if you wanted to, but we're not going to mess with that today. So, let's just delete this background. Ooh, that's not lined up good at all. That's a little better. You could use the, the alignment tool. But they don't want to grab these eyeballs for some reason. Let's see. It worked this time. Yeah, it worked a little bit better. Let's bring it to the back. Maybe I can grab these eyeballs at some point. There we go. Bring them to the front. Let's move them over a little center. That's better. Okay. Now that we got that lined up, because that was going to bother me. Okay. So now let's get to making the quick little background. Let's move them up down here. And we can go up here to our great circles. Let's just create a moon. Let's hold Alt and move out, and that's going to keep that circle uniform for you. Let's go to white. Uh, my opacity was down from a, a different project, so let's bring our opacity up. That's down here. Let's bring it up to 100. All right, now there's our moon. We're going to use our layering tools again to lower the moon to the bottle. Okay place it behind our little bat. Now I'm going to add a little gradient color. Just click on the moon. Um, you can adjust it where you want the gradient color. Just leave it like this. Okay. Go up here to your fill and stroke and you can start changing your colors. Um, this one here. Okay, this one here. Let's do, let's see, let's see, let's do black. Bring up our 
opacity. We're going to leave this at white. Um, we're going to add in another little line here to add in some purple. Because that will look cool. Look, it did appear to the other moon. There we go. I like that. And there you go. Now you have a little moon. I'm going to spray the opacity down some because it helps it not look like just a big old circle up there. There we go. Gives it some depth to it. And there you go. You got a nice little moon background. You have a little bat blue eyes now instead of pink. Um, if you wanted to add something else, you can do another layer. Bring your opacity back up. Uh, let's change this. How about let's change it to black. Go back to our selector tool, send it to the back. Maybe let's do gray. Yeah, make that look better. There you go. I mean, if you wanted to put a pattern behind it, you can choose a background and pattern and throw that. And it's just you keep layering, sending it to the back. But there you go change your colors uh, as long as you use your trace bitmap and adding in the background. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll leave it in the comments. If you'd like me to make any other kind of video, let me know. Um, just you know, make sure to like and subscribe. That way you can see any of the other videos that I post. And thank y'all and have a good day.